I'm going to be sharing a little bit about my journey to activating the spirit of love in my life. And it's, it's been quite a journey. I know um, many of you can probably relate to um, the beginning or probably the whole thing, but in the beginning, you know, as when I was in my teens and early twenties, I was learning about life and learning about love and, you know, learning about my worth and there was a lot of signals in the media and just in my life in general telling me that I was worthy of love if certain conditions were met. You know, if I was this, looked like this, talked like this, acted like this. And when um when I when I didn't, when you know, my faults shone through, uh, I noticed that for myself, I would just this block would come up and I'd begin to barrier myself and tell myself this narrative that I was not worthy of love. And it became reflected in the people around me. (laughs) You know, I was uh, not worthy of love and they would, you know, shut their love off from, from me. And in relationship, you know, there would be different dynamics that would pop up. Um, Oh, you looked at, you looked at a girl, you posted on her timeline um, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the cold shoulder now and, and let you know that that action is not worthy of love. And this is not, you know, you're not worthy of love here. And it, it you know, it was a, a long journey for me. <laughs> um, maybe not, maybe not too long in context when I really look at it, but um, there, I feel like there was this divine intervention in my life. There was um, also a willingness in me to deepen and to continue to explore life, there was a part of me that could become soft and malleable. <laughs> and I had the right people in my life seeing the right things and, you know, just started to go into this spiritual journey and um, know myself, be willing to know myself in this new way beyond the person in this body, um, beyond my even mental and emotional realities. There was more to me. And I feel like, you know what I'm talking about. There's, there's the divine within, there's the source of life within. And when I really began to like center in this truth of my, myself, my identity, I found that there's this current of love ever flowing. (laughs) The only difference, the only difference, you know, it's always there. The only difference is whether I was allowing it in or, you know, or blocking it out. And I really begin to challenge my narrative around um, this idea of being worthy of love. And it's been a very long journey. There's still times today where I catch myself in a narrative of like, oh, I'm not worthy of love. Like I'm not doing it good enough. (laughs) I'm not, and I, I start to block, but now I can kind of feel when that block comes up and, and I begin to turn away from that infinite source of love flowing in me. And my journey towards self-love, you know, to, to feeling that, that love that I call God or source of life has for me and accepting it. You know, to me, that's, that's true self-love is it's really, you know, knowing that that source of life loves me no matter what, no matter what fault I have, no matter what mistake I make, no matter how I look like now or what part of my transition or growth I'm in, I'm always worthy of that love. And my relationship with others has, has changed. So while there's actions and behaviors that I don't necessarily condone, I can't condone or, you know, I, I don't, I, I now don't have the impulse to remove love. Like love is still there and love does have those boundaries and, you know, love isn't always fluffy, you know, being kind all the time, but, but there is an element of honoring our humanity, you know, love honors our humanity. 